Alright, so I got the flour on there and I'm gonna let it sit a little bit so it can dry a little bit so the flour won't come off. It's cooking in there. This is heating up. Cut up some onions for later for the gravy. And I'm gonna start to coat these again for the second time. Nice and golden brown, so they are ready to come out of there. Here's what's left. I poured the excess oil out into a cup, and here I put some butter in, so I'm going to start making the gravy. Put some onions. I'm not a huge fan of onions, but onions definitely give it taste, so... Flour, the same flour you use to coat the pork chops you're going to put inside of here and stir it quickly before it's going to get lumpy. As you can see, it's starting to get thick. I use some water, just some bottled water. I put water in there. Some people use chicken stock or pork stock or beef stock or whatever the fuck it is. I use water because it's just simple and I don't have no damn stock. <clears throat> so just keep mixing. This is not enough for all my pork chops, so I'm going to keep that in water. And then I'm going to season it to perfection. So I started putting <clears throat> seasoning in there. Season salt, accent pepper. For me, it tastes good enough. I'm going to put the pork chops back into there to let it Marinade and shit. Chops in a nice gravy jacuzzi. <laughs> that shit looks good. I'm surprising myself. Like, this is the best, like, sauce I ever made, kind of. Usually I make it with the pork chops in there, but today I decided to do it separately, and it came out actually much better. That's how much he enjoyed it. It's only been five minutes. Was it good, baby? So Your good. first smothered pork chop. Southern style. I American need, style. I need some more. <laughs> so good.